catching the hurricane jet. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Or she's great, boys. We took her for her good first little rip there. Um, she, like I said, she's a little dusty and dirty. Running good, dialed her in, got that car dialed in perfect. Uh, just some beauty things yet to do, new bars, but that's another video. This video here is going to be about my TS-185. So this is a 72, just like my 72 250. This is the 185. So picked this bike up for $300 from an older gentleman who had actually got it from basically the original owner. I got the title for it and it was last titled in 74. Uh, before me so that's awesome I uh, actually contacted the original owner because his name was the one on the title um, he told me that he used this bike as just an off-road dirt bike a little bit on the road but mostly uh, as an off-road bike which I thought this was kind of cool old school uh, brake snakes made out of chains there's one on the brake and one on the shifter so this is a 72 um, it's got 1800 original miles now when I got it it was locked up Side story I bought this because that bike needed some parts mainly the headlight um, And if you're familiar with these TS's they were a sealed beam, but they're flat on the bottom So they're very hard to find So needed a headlight for that one and this bike cost the same as what a headlight would for that So I figured shit I'll get this and I can use it as a dirt bike or whatever. So anyway, um, locked up like I said, so I started tearing into it and he had started soaking it in croil. So when I got it, I went ahead and put some more croil down it. This is the piston. Really, actually very nice piston. There's not any really wear on the skirts. None of this stuff is gouges or, or deep, you know, grooves or nothing. What it was is it had two stuck rings. This bottom one I haven't got out yet, it's still stuck. But I did get the top out and I got it undone. So this gentleman was like 90 years old uh, that I got it from. Not the original owner that I had to work with the title. But the guy I actually bought it from. And sadly, he kind of mangled this thing pretty bad. So I'm just going to get a new uh, jug. And hopefully I can reuse this piston. If I have to, I'll bore it out and put a Y scale, but I'm hoping I don't because this is actually a pretty good piston. Cool thing about these bikes is you can actually buy a lot of this stuff still brand new from Suzuki, so that's awesome. So I can get rings, I can get wrist pin, needle bearings, circlips, all that stuff still brand new. Gaskets, everything still brand new from Suzuki. Um, and actually they stock quite a bit of it. So this thing's never blown up. Um, the head's got some, you know, crud on it just from the oil, but there's no gouging or anything in it um, or, or, you know, any signs of that, you know, being blown up or ran lean or whatever, which it does have the oil injection in these Suzuki's. They have it really well. It's got one that feeds to the crank and then one that goes to the intake directly. So pretty much a bulletproof design. Um, carburetor, I'm going to clean it all up. But, uh, yeah, but anyway, as you guys can see, I mean, it's still got oil in the tank under here. Um, not sure. It looks like they ran clots in it, man, with this red tent. Not sure, but, uh, I mean, she's dirty. She's been sitting in a barn. He said, the guy, um, that I got it from, he said he owned it a short time, but the dude, that had it originally said it had sat for about 25 30 years so um, he got it when he got out of the service in 74 so um, or 73 he said it was only a year or two old so 73 or 74 but anyway it's been just sitting in a barn and I'm not really looking to take this one to as nice as that um, I'm mostly looking at this to use as a dirt bike I probably will tag it just so if I want to run up the road from trail to trail or whatever, uh, I can do that as well. But I kind of like the patina on this bike. Um, I don't know. I just think the Molin Duros with the patina on them is kind of neat. So, I mean, I'll clean it up and all, but obviously it's got some, you know, major damage to the chrome and frame and stuff. So, I'm good like that. But it's a low hour motor, I can tell, because, I mean, everything's normal here. There's no play. 
and a little bit side to side like normal and it rolls over nice and smooth so good there um yeah so everything else tank over here you know she's she's not bad and no no major dents there is one little one on the other side but nothing major but you can tell she spent some hours on the trail uh from his leg wearing that paint off of there so um you know but yeah I mean this thing's still pretty clean the slide nothing was froze up surprisingly on it so that was kind of cool um i do have the key i just don't know what i did with it whether it's uh upstairs or in the truck somewhere but uh i mean you know he said that they made these pegs for it tagged them uh so it's got some more aggressive pegs pretty neat how it's set up like an old enduro bike so that's the project right now guys um we're working on the 82 as well but uh i just wanted to make a video of my ts 185 here um and I will probably make some more videos of this as we get down to the nitty gritty. So that's where we're at. We're going to get a new cylinder. Uh, you bought a used one, but get a good cylinder that's not all mangled. Try to put new rings and reuse this piston. We'll hone it, obviously. Um, clean up the head. Clean the carb. And honestly, I think she'll be pretty close to running. So uh, that'll be sweet. So stay tuned for that, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Um, we're going to get back to making some edited videos here with the intro and all that jazz just real soon. So hang on to that. Um, we're just getting back into it. So quick shot view. Yeah, not Nothing too elaborate here, but uh, kind of cool. So Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.